Welcome to another video. It's your boy Pastor Herbs back at it again with another video and today I'm gonna to be teaching you guys the basics of defense. So the last video was singularity. This video is all about duality, the yin and yang of Tekken, which is basically offense and defense. If you look at offense, it's kind of like the fire in the game. It's the fiery passion that people have when people just get on, they just start mashing and going crazy. They don't know what they're doing. They're just going ham, doing strings, just doing whatever, just doing whatever. And then you have defense. The thing that's actually going to hold your game together. Can't have one without the other. Imagine you just mash all the time and just thought you were going to get to your victories. It doesn't always work like that. So I'm going to be showing you how to like apply an actual proper defense. So when you talk about defense, some people think, oh, that's a super easy concept to get. You just block. Yeah, you got to block. Yeah, but it's not as simple as just blocking. You know what I'm saying? It's not as simple as just blocking because this game has different kind of moves in it. For example, I have Akuma set up as the computer. There are three different kind of moves in this game. Highs, mids, and lows. So for your highs, Hold on, hold on a second. For your highs, you don't even have to press anything. You just do standing block, just like I said. The game has an idle block in it, so you don't have to press any buttons. If you want to defend a high, don't press anything. Same with mids. You see a mid coming out, do the regular standing block. You can hold back to do the block, or you can just do your auto block by just standing. But lows, you can't auto block a low just by standing. That don't make any sense. If it's coming at you high or it's coming at you in the middle, obviously you can stand up to do it. But a blocking low, you gotta make sure you're crouching. Wow, science, whoa, oh my God, super crazy concept, Herb. Oh, I never heard that one before. Okay, this video might not be for you then. But for those who are learning still, this is for you. Now again, like I say, the whole blocking thing is very important because it's a concept that not a lot of people get, especially in low ranks. A lot of people just straight up just mash because they're more or less worried about the other person attacking them. You're not gonna be able to, this is this is the honest to God truth when it comes to defense. You're not gonna be able to block everything. You just can't, no, I mean, there are those rare cases when you do get it perfect and you do end up blocking everything. You just read your opponent perfectly, but you're not always going to block every single attack. It's just, it's not how it works. So what you wanna do is just get a good understanding or when your opponent is going to come at you. When your opponent is going to come at you. That's all you want to get down is when your opponent is going to come at you and when it's time for you to cool your jets so you can block and then do what you have to do. So, so I'm going to put Akuma up here. I'm going to make him do... Uh, I'm trying to... I, I literally haven't done this matchup, so... <laughs> This is to be a learning experience for both of us because I, I don't know the first thing about Akuma. All right. Now what you saw right there was actually a low parry. So it's, it's an advanced concept we'll get to later. So let's say I'm attacking, right? I have Nina. I don't know what I'm doing because I don't play Nina. I'm attacking, I'm attacking, I'm attacking. Now, I want to make sure that after my attack's done, what the heck? What the heck? Bro, I hate 2D characters in this game. <laughs> I forgot she has a sway back. <laughs> yeah, well, anyway. Oh my god. I'm not letting my opponent do anything. You see that? Now, there's certain things that my opponent's gonna do to try to get to me. But I know their flow chart already. I know their flow chart, and I know that. After they do a certain thing, boom, block, boom, block. That's it. Don't give them anything. You don't want to give your opponents anything. This, what this does is frustrates them to no end. When you don't give your opponent anything, it frustrates them. They think this guy is a brick wall. I can't get past him. I can't open him up. How is he reading me? They literally get in their own heads and they think to themselves, what am I doing wrong as a player? 
I don't understand. And they start pressing more buttons. And you just got to keep blocking at that point. You got to keep blocking at that point until you see an opening. Once you see your opening, that's when you attack. To sum it all up, offense and defense is pretty much the duality, the yin and yang, like I said, of the entire game. You have offensive strats, you have defensive strats. You can't block every single thing, but you also have to remember, even when you're attacking, all of your attacks aren't going to land. You're going to throw a few whiffs. You know what I mean? You're not going to connect every single time. You're not going to do the most damage with your combos. Sometimes you might even drop your combos. Don't do that. Like I said, practice your combos a lot. Don't be dropping combos out here. You're not a clown. And what makes what makes defense so important is that you don't want to you don't want to take damage for no reason. It's stupid. Like if you guys even remember like back in the day if you were ever playing a fighting game with your like a brother or somebody else or something like that and you guys were just both mashing and then all of a sudden one day you just learn how to block and they say hey stop blocking you're cheating and you're like yo cheating what are you talking about it's not it's in the game how is it is blocking is in the game what are you talking about it's it's blocking it's defense that's it like don't take for granted such a great thing don't take for granted such a, such a like it's a simple concept yeah it's like everybody should do it don't you shouldn't always attack just don't do it you shouldn't always attack um yeah that's pretty much it for this video thank you guys again for watching i hope to see you in the next video peace